Welcome to or welcome back to Minimal Impact 22. My name is Christina and I normally post videos about sustainability and sustainable living, but today I'm doing something a little bit different, something that I did last year, and this is the follow-up video to that. And this is the video, things I did and didn't do in 2021 and things I want to do in 2022. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So on my bucket list for last year in 2021 were eight things I wanted to complete. And out of those eight things, I completed four, which honestly isn't too bad. From that list, the four things that I did was hit the bullseye, go camping, roast marshmallows over the fire, and get a degree. So I did hit the bullseye, it took multiple attempts and my boyfriend's encouragement and some guidance on my form. But yes, I did hit the bullseye with an arrow and I had a lot of fun. I also went camping with my roommate from college, Laura, and it was freezing. It was literally 20 degrees that night. We were so cold, we hardly slept at all because we were both scared and freezing, but we did have a ton of fun and I would totally do it again. And while on that camping trip, we did roast some vegan marshmallows over the fire. Vegan marshmallows are superior can't convince me otherwise. If you haven't tried them, you definitely should. They're so good. And I did graduate with a degree in communication studies and international studies with Spanish emphasis. Now, some things that I did do in 2021 that weren't on my bucket list, but I feel like I should share anyway, were I got my first job, I got my first apartment, I got published in a magazine, and I've been reading my Bible a lot more consistently than I have in years. Which brings me to things that I want to do in 2022. I definitely want to continue reading my Bible more consistently than I have in the past. I feel like it has really helped me in my own faith and I hope that it will continue to do that. Since I recently moved to a new location, there's so many things for me to explore. And one way that I want to do that is by every single month going to a local event of some kind. I also want to take some classes that will enrich me. I'm not sure what type of classes I want to take yet. It might be art, it might be languages. I don't know. If you have any suggestions for classes you may have taken that really impacted you positively, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm definitely open to some different ideas. Something else I wanna do in 2022 is help a local community. For my work, I go to community service centers a lot, which help individuals who often can't afford to buy necessities like diapers, clothing, or food. And I really wanna help those community service centers reach their local communities, whether this be through writing stories about these centers, by donating time, or by donating money. I really just wanna help make an impact. Now, you might be wondering, okay, you had eight things on your bucket list for 2021, you only did four, what about the other four? Well, to that, I will say I am still hoping to do them in 2022. And those four items are going to a drive-in movie theater. I was super close to actually completing this, but unfortunately the drive-in movie theater closed for the season the week I was planning to go. The second thing is fry an egg on the sidewalk. I didn't end up completing this because the hottest time of the year was also the time I was settling into a new job. And so I was dealing with some other issues that, that didn't allow me enough time to go ahead and do this. The third thing is go where the dart lands. I didn't end up doing this. I would love to do this. I hope to do this very soon. Maybe not right now because it is freezing, but in the very new, near future, I hope to do that. And the last thing is explore a cave. This is something that I'm a little more hesitant to go ahead and put back on the list just because I am now living in a place where I don't have as close friends as I did where I was previously living. And I don't want to explore a cave alone just for safety reasons. So yes, I would like to do this. Will this happen? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead, put it on the list, see what happens. And that's it in terms of my goals for 2022 and my bucket list items. I would love to hear what you guys want to do in 2022. So please let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for joining me. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.